Welcome everyone to another seven wins draft. This one, I had the most fun in a draft, I think yet. So I'm really excited to show you this one. Open up the pack one, pick one here. What do you take? There's a dragon turtle here, but there's also a black dragon. And I think those are the only two contenders in this entire pack. I mean, I guess Priest of Ancient Lore is an option, but I'm not going to take a Dragon Turtle over a Black Dragon. Black Dragon's just too good. It's black. It's not blue. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to avoid blue like the Plague, but... Yeah, blue's not exactly where you want to be, especially when you can be in black. So... I don't think it's close here at all. Black Dragon's just so good. Let's see. Knowing what I got into, I might take the Cloister Gargoyle, but... Eh, maybe not. I mean, it's still too close. Or early. So the problem with this series is I have to not hindsight draft, which I have to look at this pack not knowing what I know already in the future. So... After saying that, Staying in black seems the most appropriate here. Um, Precipitous Drop is a good card. I want to cut off black. It's the only other black card in this pack. So, you know, uh, my opponent on the left likely won't start being in black if I completely cut them off. Now, here, Baleful Beholder is not a great card. Six mana, I already have a seven drop. I don't really want to take a six mana card here. There's not a whole lot else here. I mean, there's some green cards, but I really like the Evolving Wild here. I could take the Armory Veteran as a two drop, but uh, I haven't decided my second color yet. I don't want to really make that decision too much with these cards. I mean, uh, I guess the Shepherd would be okay. The the Bard would be okay, yeah, but they're four mana three threes. A Bulette is okay. Like, these are all just okay picks, you know? And that's an, a low pick as well, the Beholder. The Shepherd's the only other card I, I think you could pick here, but Evolving Wild's great. Now, being sent the Borrowin here signals the color that I want to be in white, black, white, venture. Now, I'm not necessarily trying to make a venture deck, but I end up doing it. And I'm so happy I did because it is so much fun. Treasure Chest is a fun card. That's all it is. I don't think it's going to win you the game or anything. You gain three life and draw three cards is pretty good, but, you know, seven mana to do that? Mm, I kind of want more on the board impact than that. I'm not going to take a Thieves Tool. A Zombie Ogre is good to stay in black. But, you know, a uh, Borrowin fourth pick allows me to kind of shape my deck early, knowing where I want to go. So, having said that, it's easy to pick up a Dungeoneer here. I want it over, you know, Dragon's Disciple. That's it's not a great card, especially where I want to be. There is an improvised weaponry here that I'm passing, which kind of... Kind of not great, but that's okay. We'll be okay. It's a nice pick, but there's a Dungeoneer here and uh, a trick. So this, this was a tough pick for me, but I ended up going with the Dungeoneer here. It's more on theme with the, you know, venturing into the dungeon, which is what I want to be doing with this deck. And it's only one white as opposed to two black. I also felt like, you know, yeah, you can make a 1-1 one, one zombie, and it's really a 2-2, two, two, but it just wasn't that great, you know? I don't know. Rally Maneuver is okay. It's a trick. Um, Dungeon Descent, I don't think I'm going to play. Hired Hexblade is a 2-2. Two, two. It's between Rally Maneuver and uh, your Ambush on the Road. Oh, yeah, they're, I completely missed a higher text blade um, over the two. You could take that as well. Hmm. 
We have no ways to make treasure right now, but that is it's pack one. I'm guessing we will find ways to make it, but I agree with the rally maneuver here. Devoted Paladin over Fate's Reversal, I think. I mean, it is a five drop and it's white. He's pretty solid, actually. A 4-4 four four is difficult to deal with. And we have enough, or we'll likely to get enough two drops and three drops. Just, uh, I don't think I agree with this. If I take Fate's Reversal here. Hmm, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I mean, Fate's Reversal is real good. I play all of my Fate's Reversals, but... Okay. Well, look, we still end up getting a Devoted Paladin. If we want one. I'm probably going to take the 2-3 here. I mean, it's... Complete the dungeon, it has Double Strike. Yeah. And look, I got the higher attack blade anyway. There's another Fate's Reversal. I think those are the only two. I'm not going to uh, play it over Devour Intellect. That's, that's just not a card you really want to be playing. I know I tried to think about it that one deck, and it just wasn't even good in that deck, which would consider playing it. If you'd like to see that, you need to watch my... Uh, what was it? Black Red Control deck. That was awesome. Reaper's Talisman, not close here. I mean, there's Priest of Ancient Lore. There is a Burning Hands. I guess you could splash for that, but Reaper's Talisman is exactly what I want to be doing with this deck. It's it's a four life um, drain, but it's a four life swing every turn. And you can put it on a bunch of things that don't matter and get in there. I guess Steadfast Powder is really good, though, so... Huh. Priest of Ancient Lore is real good too. But I just, I'll get more opportunities to maybe pick those up. I don't think I'll ever get another opportunity to pick up a Reed's Reaper's Talisman here. So that's why I pick it here over those cards. Tell me what you think. Uh, teleportation Circle, get in my deck. This card's a bomb. We have two really good come into play. Or three, I'm sorry. Come to play maneuvers. Enter the battlefield cards already. I'm not going to play Paladin Shield. Maybe we'll table the Dungeoneer. Likely not. Hopefully we'll pick up a Zombie Ogre. But Teleportation Circle, love it. With Black Dragon. That's what I'm thinking about. I have a Black Dragon. I want to play Teleportation Circle. And I also have a Borrowing and Venturing cards that come into play. Now this one was a tough pick. I saw plate armor and I was like, oh, plate armor, get in my deck. But white dragon. Whew. And I just took teleportation circle. And it's a 4-4 flyer. And you know me, I love my flyers. Yeah, this one was tough. The, the correct pick here is plate armor. That's the correct pick. But if you would take white dragon, everything in my body is telling me to take white dragon. Because 4-4 four, four Flyer. 4-4 four, four Flyer, yeah! And it comes into play effect. Teleportation Circle, but no. Plate Armor is so good. So good. And it was good. Look at that, look. Four seconds left. Almost picked the White Dragon. But I take the Plate Armor correctly. Go me. Genius Smith is not really what I'm being. <sighs> playing. Dungeon Map. I don't think I even saw it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't know if I would play Dungeon Map in this deck, honestly. It's it's a venturing deck, but I want the removal. I know that Precipitous Drop isn't that good, but it's it's going to deal with most, if not all, of their two drops. Just reading Ingenious Smith, making sure I knew what it did. But, yeah, it's just Dungeon Map's real slow. <laughs> the... Maybe this is the deck that plays it, though. But I just wanted the more removal. Alright, there's a Lightfoot Rogue. Not really what I want to be doing. Um, yeah, the Fing Blade. Just, I saw that exactly the same time as my previous self did. Because I saw Lightfoot Rogue, I saw the Pegasus, and I saw the Cleric, and then I uh, saw the Fing Blade. I rarely ever got to play Fing Blade, so I'm happy to pick it up here. It does everything you want. It's got Death Touch, and that's super relevant all the time. You have to 
at least used a card to remove that. You're not getting two for one that often with that card. Second evolving wild opportunity here. But yeah, that's a very late Priest of Light Ancient Lore. Pick six. Maybe it's not that late, but yeah. Definitely want that over anything else in this pack. Another removal spell here. Uh, there is another Fang Blade though, but I don't think I... I don't think I want it over a removal. I mean, you could make the argument. No, I think it's not close. Yeah, there's nothing here for us. Just take the Plundering Barbarian and get out because you don't want your Reaper's Talisman to get destroyed. And none of this matters. I'm sitting weird because I slept weird, so my back is killing me. Dawnbringer Cleric. Ah. Uh, yeah, I just played Dawnbringer. It's fine. We have enough removal that we don't need to play Spiked Pit Trap here, so. And I play the Dawnbringer. It's Disenchant. It's great. I mean, it doesn't hit Artifact, but. When it's relevant, it's really good. And it's relevant a lot. There's plenty of targets. What is this improvised weaponry doing this late? I just don't get it. And then a bunch of blue cards. More blue cards. Last pick, blue card. <laughs> yeah. Okay, white here. As the open. Uh, two mana, three, two. Come into play tapped. You kill something, make it two, two. Sure. Another Reaper's Talisman here, but I already have one. I don't really want a second. So, I mean, it's good, but the benefits of having a second I don't think are that great. So, you can swing for four and gain four life, which is good, right? But if they swing back for six or five, you're not winning that race, I guess. Well, I guess they're effectively doing one damage and you're doing four damage. Yeah, maybe it's right, but I'm kind of lacking on the two drops here, so I really wanted it. Plus it's rare. <laughs> Hand of Vecna I do not take because there is a Grim Bounty here. Pay one life for each card in your hand. I did not want to do as well. Uh, I guess it's an alternative equipment. Eh, I could have taken it, honestly. But Grim Bounty is just removal. Hand of Vecna isn't I mean, if it gets plus one, plus one. And there's not a lot of creatures that I have that really want an equipment. So, yeah. Um, it's another opportunity for Devoted Paladin. I guess you could take the Reaper's Talisman here. Look how I said, I'm not going to have another opportunity to have a Reaper's Talisman. And I could have three. <laughs> um, what do you take? Yeah, Ghoul's not the deck for this. Yeah, I would take the Talisman here. Yeah. I messed up my hair. Oh no, no, don't take Ghoul. I'd take the Talisman. I guess I really wanted a two drop. Okay. Uh, Shambling Gas is okay. Create a treasure or minus one, minus one. Evolving Wild, Pegasus. Pegasus is fine. I don't think I want it over... I don't want Shambling ga uh, Gast over Pegasus, I don't think. And we have some cards that can make that work. Yeah, it's fine. Evolving Wand. I don't think we need it. Not over Pegasus. We already have the one. Okay, 2-1 two, for 2. <laughs> I'd rather just have the Zombie Ogre as well. Um, make a retreat or stand and fight. Yeah. Venturing. More venturing into the dungeon for me, please. I'm already at 25 here. That's 26. So I'm going to have to make some tough cuts. Warlock class. Uh, I don't end up playing it. So. Darn. Too bad I didn't take something for that. Instead of that Pegasus. 
Because I could have another Pegasus here. And then uh, here's a trick. Feed a rope. I'm not going to play that. Yeah, you can venture into the dungeon, but well, I guess you could play it. You know? Looking back, that would be... This would be the deck to play it. Definitely a misplay. Uh, definitely should have played Feed Feed a Rope because then I... Uh, I could ensure that their biggest dude is no longer a problem. I mean, it costs mana, but... And if that isn't a problem, then I just venture into the dungeon. Okay. Wow, look at all these ghouls. How are these ghouls that late? No one's playing the, uh, the sack. I'll let... And look at this. Another 12th pick improvised weaponry. At this point, I'm thinking, should I splash it? <laughs> but no, the Devoted Paladin is a fine pickup. Look, a Spike Pit Trap if we really wanted it. And look, you're ambushed from the road if we really wanted it. And look, an Arcane Infant... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We have 51 playables. Okay, maybe not so much. There's a blue card. I play around trying to get that to move. Because it's difficult to see everything in my deck. Fortunate. I just take out the blue card. There you go. Ten cards to cut. There's two. Warlock class is three. Yep. You can cut both or all of those, honestly. Um, I'm going to play both Fates Reversals. Or whatever. Cut the Rally Maneuver. We don't need the tricks. Keep the Pegasus. So, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I have Teleportation Circle. I need come into play effects here. So, if it comes down to uh, come into play effect or a creature without a come into play effect, I'm going to keep the come into play effect. Does that make sense? I still need to cut four cards. Warlock class. You're ambushed on the road. Uh, rally Maneuver. And Ghoul. I think those are my cuts. Yeah. Counting creatures. Look, I found where you can do it. 16 creatures. Not bad. Sweet curve, though. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I love it. I think that's also why I did so well with this deck. Because I had... A decent curve. It's bad if you miss your two drop. It's you lose the game if you miss your three and two. So definitely need all that. So now I'm putting all of my removal over here or spells. Yeah, it's just warlock class. Got rid of the ghoul. I'm happy to play the cleric. You might want to be like. Oh, let's get rid of that. No. He gains you life, which is sometimes relevant. And he's another two drop, which I need. He's a one three, which that's relevant. He blocks your uh, two twos. So he's a solid guy. I think uh, a lot of people are missing out by not playing the cleric. And every once in a while, that disenchant comes up. Yeah, I want to play both Fates Reversal. I have some good cards to get back. Hired Hexblade is... Mm, I want these. Yeah, I want, want to get rid of that. You're going to have to. We have enough removal. We have Fates Removal if we do a trade. So we can get back our cards that... Okay, they used removal on... Uh, you can cut your ambush on the road. No, you're not cutting a land. <sighs> you might need to go nine swamps. Pegasus? Uh-uh, bring that back in. You have teleportation circle. It's too good not to have Pegasus. Devoted Paladin's good. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yes. And now I realize, oh wait, I have teleportation circle. That's pretty good too. Yep. These are, yep, these are all coming to play effects. So I'm realizing this now. 
Okay, I need to make sure about that. Let me look over my cards. Looking for that. And the last two are definitely going to be Warlock class. And you're ambushing the road. I take the um, hired Hexblade over the Ghoul because I don't really have any ways of making tokens. So, or any good reason to sacrifice a creature. And it's a 2-1 over a 2-2. Two, two. Probably not relevant, but never know. And... There's just some opportunity where I make a treasure because of venturing into the dungeon where you know, maybe it's relevant where I need to draw a card. And I want that opportunity to draw a card if I need to. I have no other ways of drawing cards except uh, venturing into the dungeon. So well, that class is the last card here. It is good for the, um, the level two, but then that's it. After that, it's just win more. Because if you're making your opponent lose life, making them lose more life, yeah, maybe we'll make you win the game that one time, but probably not. Uh, yeah, you could keep the Warlock class in if you got rid of that. But I want to get rid of that and put back in the Fates Reversal. I want to play both. Because it's another adventure into the dungeon, and it gets me back my Black Dragon, gets me back my Devoted Paladin, my Dungeoneers... My borrowing, which are going to use premium removal on. And I just get it back. And then I venture into the dungeon. So that's why I chose those. Like Rally Maneuver is a great card. Don't get me wrong. But for this particular deck, I wanted Fates Reversal because it is a venture deck. And I needed that extra venture. That's my plan with it anyway. I loved this deck. It was so much fun to play. Yeah. These are my 20, or my 40. I'm happy with that. So, end up going 7-1 with this. It's super fun. You'll see.